Hi everyone, so glad to be with you once again. And I pray that everything is going well with you. I want to take these few minutes to bring a very, very important subject to you. This for me is one of my best, best, best subjects. And it is, as far as God is concerned, it is one of the most strongest powers there is. And that is love. Why is it strong? Because God is love. And you know God is strong. And God is love. And the nice thing about it is Every one of us that is born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, he has shed his love abroad in our heart by the Holy Ghost. The love is in you and me, but it's up to us to put it into practice, to live it in our lives. So reading from 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4 and 5 in the Amplified Bible, it says, Love is not boastful or vainglorious. Love does not display itself haughtily. Love is not conceited. Love is not arrogant. Love is not inflated with pride. And love is not rude, unmannerly, and love does not act unbecomingly. It's always the flesh. If you check it, it's always the flesh that is boastful, haughty, conceited, arrogant, inflated with pride, rude, and unmannerly. I don't mean to be judgmental. But there's some people that you, usually I, I encounter them in a store a whole lot. They are so rude. And you don't see love in their lives and you don't hear love flow from them because of their rudeness. But we that are born again, a child of God, God's love is in us, for God is in us. And by an act of our own will, we can decide not to give in to these fleshly temptations. You can decide rather to walk in love or to walk in the Spirit. To walk in the spirit. The battle or fight is between your human spirit and your flesh. But the Bible says, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Galatians 5, 16. I'm telling you, I had the opportunity to walk out of love and be so rude, but thank God, when I became a child of God, God instilled His love in me. And the first person that I had the opportunity to put love into practice in my life was a man where we worked together and he was something else. He never had one good word to tell you. In fact, they put several people working with him and they didn't like it, they got out of there. 
but they put me in there with him. The first day he started talking words that is hard to describe. And I had the opportunity to either jump or jump on him or just walk away. But you know what? I decided to put the love of God into action. And I told him, listen, I looked at him in the eye in a nice voice. I said, listen, you can't find better words to tell me. You could talk better with me. I appreciate that. And he didn't know what to do. From that moment on, when he talked to me, total change. Love always wins when you put it into practice. So, let's decide to allow the Spirit to dominate us. When temptation comes, and it will come, stand still a moment and begin to speak the Word of God. Begin to say, I am born of love. I will allow the love of God within me to dominate me. When temptation comes, begin to speak the Word of God. Begin to say, I am born of love. I will allow the love of God within me to dominate this situation and you know before you know everything will change and the love of God will rise up big within you big and it will change any situation that is against you so my brothers and sisters Let's make a quality decision to put the love of God in action in our life every day, every moment of our life. And it's going to be great, great reward because God is love. He doesn't have love. He is love. And He has place his love in our heart and he expects us to walk in his love every moment of our lives. So with that I want to let you know once again I love you and know that I pray for you every day. You're not without prayer. Every day I pray for you. May you be blessed. You have a good, good day.